Hey, Shopify lovers, this is Scott from Wick Creative. I wanted to go ahead and give you a quick Friday email about a couple new things. Uh, one that's outside of Shopify, one that is inside of Shopify to uh, talk about that may uh, be useful to you. So the first one that I want to talk about is related to uh, store locators. So a lot of you guys have store locators or you have distributors or you have uh, different elements like that. And there are options on Shopify that include bold apps. You also have uh, the W3 and all of those are going to cost you monthly from $7 up to you know, $50, $60 a month. And uh, they do have some nice features. Now, a lot of you are looking for uh, a little bit, uh, a little bit simpler uh, features than that, and you might not have that many locations. And what I wanted to show you was a new offering that's been put out by Google called Google Fusion Tables. So, if we look here, what we have is the Great American Beer Fest winners list for this year. Uh, as uh, any of you who know Wit Creative know, that we enjoy our share of the beer beverages. Uh, and this is a list that we've pulled uh, from their website uh, using a Google script that rips that information out and puts it into a spreadsheet. Also, if you need that at any point, let us know, we can help you get that set up. But uh, in this case, let's just say this was uh, your company list and you have addresses, you have cities, you have uh, details about them. Well, what you can do now through Google Fusion tables is you can load that uh, you can load that table up in Google Fusion tables and it's going to go ahead and use geolocation to find all the locations that are in your spreadsheet automatically for you which is super awesome so let's go ahead and look at what that looks like so here is one that i've opened up and this is not what gets published to the internet but this is what it's looking at at that table and if we go ahead and look at the map view you're going to see here it's going to go ahead and uh, pull all our locations in for the different items that we have on that sheet. So we have uh, in any of these, let's say these gold ones that are gold medal winners, I can click on, I can see all the information. Again, this is all information you can put in your spreadsheet. So if you wanted to say uh, this, this uh, thing carries uh, this part of our product line, this one, has uh, these store hours, any of that information that you might want to have, you can place in here. Again, you can give them different icons. Uh, you can pull those in. All this is uh, usable as a Google Maps so someone can zoom in to wherever they want to uh, see. Other cool things that you can do, for example, uh, in this case, I've done a heat map. So you can look at, you can build heat maps of information. So this one's showing where the uh, hottest beer cultures are in the US uh, because, it, it, because it's based on that spreadsheet. And again, all this is just run off a of Google spreadsheet. So that makes it super easy when you want to maybe edit something and uh, get it going uh, on your website. You just go to a Google spreadsheet and you add a new location and you're done. So pretty cool stuff. Again, it doesn't have everything that uh, that some of the other offerings have. So if you want a full-fledged offering, uh, this might not be it for you, but uh, for, a, for a quick and dirty, this is uh, pretty dang full-featured and it's totally free by Google. You can embed this wherever you want to embed this, just as if you were embedding a Google map. Uh, so it makes it really easy for anyone to use uh, it's running off the, you know, running off Google and Google's API, so you have no restrictions there from uh, anyone viewing this on their phone or anything else. It's all mobile friendly, so really cool stuff. All right, the second part I want to jump into is that the new, uh, that the new coding for um, Shopify is out and available and ready for everyone to use. 
Um, so this is going to be the one that we talked about after coming back from Unite last Shopify Unite last year. And we said, okay, we're going to have a new drag and drop uh, editor. So I want to talk to you now that Shopify has given us the ability to access that. I wanted to go ahead and talk to you guys about what you can expect to see um, in this new update and um, you know what we're looking at here. So I'm going to go ahead and log in and show you very quickly uh, what that looks like. So if we go ahead and switch over here <clears throat> to this theme, what you're going to see here is the new theme settings, right? So I'm here on the home page, and this is the just base level theme they give us. Obviously, we would we can style this out to look like whatever you want. But if I were to look at the options here, I can drag and drop this featured collection. Say I want the featured collection first. I can go there and I could click on featured collection and say I actually want uh, five products in that row. And it's going to split that out. I want five rows. Again, I don't have any products in this one right now because this is just a uh, one for showing. But if I wanted to say I want an image with a text overlay, I can upload an image here and um, it'll pull it in there. Let me see if I've got uh, if I've got a big image here that we can toss in. I uh, probably got one in screenshots. Do, 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 do. All right. Uh, yeah, one of these will work. So let's toss that in there. And uh, this is going to go ahead and pull that image in. It's going to align it in the middle. It's going to allow for the text overlay. And again, you can edit all that image and uh, information there. You can then again say, well, actually, I want this on the top. Uh, and then if we wanted to edit the header, I can say I want the uh, logo in there. So I probably have a logo here. Um, da, 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 da. Um, I'm sure I have a logo. There's one. Tortle. You get to be on there. Uh, so I can put the logo up in that area. I can say I actually want the logo to be centered or left. Again, all this stuff is editable, and we'd need to do a little bit of work to make that happen. But um, the fact is uh, that you can now drag and drop, you can make these sections, you can move them around. The one thing I do want to talk through is the fact that um, in the previous, we had thought that maybe once you got a catalog, that you'd be able to do the same on every internal page. And that's uh, unfortunately not true. On like, let's say this collection page, you can still change things like make it a list or make it uh, four. Uh, products per grid so you can still adjust some things but the whole drag and drop ability of features within a template is not going to be available in this first launch of the code by Shopify and that's a pretty big bummer we're not gonna lie we're, we're pretty bummed about that uh, and we're trying to find a way to hack around that to give you guys that ability to be able to drag and drop on internal page templates but for now um, the home page is pretty sweet. Uh, it's pretty nice. We can make as many of these as you might want. If you see here, I'm going to click to add a section. And these are our base intro sections. So we can say add a gallery, add a logo list. Like say you wanted to add, uh, you know, some suppliers. You can click to look at what that would look like, a featured product. And again, we can customize these layouts as much as you could ever want us to. And we can add as many of these sections as you ever want. Um, so it doesn't have to be something that's in this list. It can be specific to you. Um, and so it is pretty great. The only, the only downside is that we can only do this currently on the home page. Uh, we can't do it on internal pages. But nonetheless, pretty cool new feature just launched. Um, for us as partners so we can uh, kick that off for you if you wanted this functionality so just let us know hope you guys have a great weekend cool stuff happening we have all the uh, black friday and holiday season coming so if you have thoughts and you have things you want to do for that let us know now our schedule fills up fast 
Uh, we're definitely going to lock out time and make sure that all of you have time. But uh, let us know sooner rather than later so we can make sure that we get you ready for this holiday season. Hope you've been having a great few weeks. Sorry that I haven't sent out these uh, emails lately. We have been vacationing and having fun. So uh, we are back. We're still having fun. We're just not vacationing. So anyways, let us know if you'd like to speak more about any of this. Uh, love you guys. You are great. Uh, thank you for allowing us to do what we love every day uh, and make cool stuff for you. So anyways, thanks. Have a great weekend. See you later.